Day four, breakfast mix. Oatmeal, honey, and cranberries, yum. Tomorrow for breakfast, oatmeal with cranberries, nuts, and honey. Raisins, don't forget the raisins. Raisins, yum. Well, I'm gonna eat those today. I have to buy some new ones. I know you're making enough for you there. That is a lot of oats. No, I'm gonna stir. Whoops. I wonder what the red carpet in would know if this was going on in their hotel. They might suspect something later when the maid comes and says, How come the floor is coated with oats? Was there a horse? We in started there? to get ready for the day and think about the theme wind as Carson started pumping his tires. Here we are setting off in the morning. Wind uh, came up as a theme not just because we had oatmeal for breakfast that morning, <coughs> but because one of the old blessings for safe journey is, may the wind be at your back. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of time to think about that this morning because wind proved to be my enemy after only a very short time. Total mileage for me, about Two a and a half. pinhole flat tire, but fortunately we had taken a bike maintenance class before the trip and I was back on the road in no time. Still, the flat tire put me a little bit behind Carson on the day as we continued west through Pennsylvania. The terrain was pretty hilly, which made for challenging biking, but on one of the ridges we saw a whole bunch of windmills, and I think windmills are pretty neat. It turned out that Carson had never seen a wind farm before. I had driven from San Francisco to Yosemite National Park a few years ago and then uh, more recently with my brother driving from LA to Joshua Tree National Park seeing hundreds of windmills in the hills in California just turning really fast with the wind and generating power. They're pretty cool to see and it's nice to know that it's a carbon neutral way to generate electrical power. In fact if you're interested more in learning about wind, you can actually contact your local utility and ask them what their plans are to generate electricity from wind or to work with suppliers who can actually provide wind power. Just something to keep in mind. Meanwhile, Carson was dealing with his own wind issues on the day. Oh man, today was a long day. This is Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. We came from, I don't even remember it was so long, Milford, Pennsylvania. But it was uh, probably 15 to 20 mile an hour wind right in my face the whole day. Uh, yeah, it was tough. I heard you got video of the wind farm. Yeah, I got some good video of the windmills, even though it was near a state correctional institution. That's right. It was I stopped to take a picture of it, and a guy came up and he said, you better uh, put your camera up. You don't want the guards on you. And I said, okay, uh, I'm just taking a picture of the windmills. And he goes, yeah, but I work there, and I know if, if they're not coming after you already, uh, they're going to. And I said, okay. So I got back on the bike and stuck back into the wind. Ha, ha, ha.